the main thing that I absolutely love about this town is the relationship between skilled artisans. And that's where I look at my food, doing beer braised short ribs on the smoker that use the staves from your whiskey barrels. And holy crap, I know that growing up, food and wine was always a really big thing. But what about beer's not just for chugging and whiskey's not just for after dinner, right? Certainly when I grew up with beer, it was fizzy yellow liquid that yeah. you got drunk on. And now it's all about flavors and it's all about layers of flavors. And, and certainly for us, when we can use a local ingredient, we want to use it. Um, we started with uh, a locally roasted coffee and an espresso stout. Um, we used to make a cranberry beer where we actually bought the cranberries locally. We'd have uh, little old ladies or kids raising money for a school trip, all bringing in buckets of cranberry. Generally speaking, the recipe for beer hasn't changed. It's also about the time. The time that it takes to smoke a pork shoulder versus do a, a pressure cook. These things change the entire flavor process. I've never really thought of time as an ingredient. It's, it's the fourth dimension, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough. And it certainly pertains to our whiskey because um, when we first started making it in 2009, uh, we knew by law it had to be three years in a barrel right. to be called whiskey in Canada. Well, we tried it after three, and we thought, what's one more year? Yeah. And then Wait turned into long. four years, five years, six years, seven years. Then one day you go, you know what? It's today. And taking the time, we're not doing anything with our whiskey that other whiskey makers, even the big guys, can't do. But to your point, they don't have the time to do it. Um, maybe to our maybe to our detriment, we have time to do it because we're just not that busy. You're just not busy enough, right? The other thing I'm happy about is living in the Yukon because it seems like once a week I hear about somebody who's doing something amazing, okay. whether it's in food or beverages or art or whatever. Yeah. No, and, and it's inspiring to live up here, isn't it? Because you wake up in the morning and there are fresh Hascap berries that come to your door. So you come up with the best option and the best opportunity to make something incredible out of that product, and then you just want to share it with the world. And it's always fun when you're giving uh, whiskey to a Scotsman yep. and having him say, yeah, do, you I made do. this? Yes. When you can awaken excitement through quality, that's where you just go, I'm doing something right. And then we get to brag like crazy about it. This came from here? Yeah. And you go, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah.